The year was 1970. It was a time of great excitement and wonder. Humanity had just taken its first steps on the moon, a monumental achievement that captured the imagination of people around the world. Yet, our celestial backyard remained shrouded in mystery, with many questions left unanswered. Among our closest neighbors, Venus, the brilliant morning star, held a special allure. Its bright presence in the sky had fascinated humans for centuries. Veiled by thick clouds, Venus concealed its surface from our view, making it an enigma that beckoned to be explored. Astronomers could only speculate about the world hidden beneath. What secrets did this planet hold? Some imagined a tropical paradise, lush with vegetation and teeming with life. Others envisioned a scorched, volcanic wasteland, a harsh and unforgiving environment. The answer, as we would soon learn, lay somewhere in between, a truth more extreme than any fiction. Venus was a world of extremes, with temperatures hot enough to melt lead and crushing atmospheric pressure. Unveiling this truth would require a daring mission, a technological leap into the unknown. Scientists and engineers would need to overcome incredible challenges to reach the surface of Venus. This was the challenge the Soviet Union embraced with Venera 7. Launched in 1970, Venera 7 was the first spacecraft to successfully land on another planet and transmit data back to Earth. It marked a significant milestone in our quest to understand our mysterious neighbor, Venus. The Soviet Union had set its sights on Venus early in the space race. This was a time when the world was captivated by the possibilities of space exploration, and the Soviets were determined to lead the charge. Their Venera program aimed to be the first to reach this enigmatic planet. Venus, often called Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition, presented a host of challenges that made it a tantalizing target for exploration. Each mission built upon the knowledge gained from previous attempts, pushing the boundaries of engineering and endurance. The harsh conditions of Venus, with its crushing atmospheric pressure and scorching temperatures, required innovative solutions and robust spacecraft designs. Venera 7 was the culmination of this ambitious program. It represented years of research, development, and countless hours of testing. The engineers and scientists behind Venera 7 were pioneers, venturing into the unknown with a bold vision. This spacecraft was not designed for a mere flyby. It was built to land on Venus and survive long enough to send back data from its surface. The stakes were high. The success of Venera 7 would not only be a triumph for the Soviet space program, but also a monumental achievement for humanity. No human-made object had ever landed on another planet, let alone one as unforgiving as Venus. The mission faced numerous challenges, from the intense heat to the corrosive atmosphere. Every aspect of the mission had to be meticulously planned and executed. The mission promised to be a defining moment in space exploration. If successful, it would pave the way for future missions and deepen our understanding of our neighboring planets. The legacy of Venera 7 would inspire generations of scientists and engineers to continue exploring the cosmos. Venus presented a unique set of challenges for any spacecraft daring to land on its surface. The planet's atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, traps heat like a giant greenhouse. Temperatures on Venus soared to over 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure at the surface is 90 times that of Earth's, equivalent to being 3,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface. These extreme conditions meant that any spacecraft attempting to land on Venus would need to withstand crushing pressure, searing heat, and a corrosive atmosphere. It was a challenge that pushed the limits of human ingenuity. Building a spacecraft to survive on Venus was a monumental task. Soviet engineers had to develop new materials and techniques to protect the delicate instruments from the intense heat and pressure. Venera 7's landing capsule was built like a bathysphere, a spherical vessel designed to withstand immense pressure. Its thick titanium shell was built to withstand the crushing force of the Venusian atmosphere. To combat the extreme temperatures, the capsule was insulated with layers of heat-resistant materials and equipped with a cooling system. The entire spacecraft was a testament to human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. On August 17, 1970, a Proton-K rocket carrying Venera 7 blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The launch was flawless, sending the spacecraft on a four-month journey towards Venus. During its interplanetary cruise, Venera 7 performed flawlessly. 
Its onboard systems kept the spacecraft on course, constantly sending back data to Earth. The mission was proceeding according to plan, but the most dangerous part of the journey was yet to come. On December 15, 1970, after 120 days in space, Venera 7 reached Venus. The spacecraft entered the planet's atmosphere at a blistering speed of 25,000 miles per hour. Friction from the dense atmosphere caused the spacecraft to heat up rapidly. The heat shield designed to protect the landing capsule glowed red hot. For several terrifying minutes, communication with the spacecraft was lost. As Venera 7 plunged deeper into the Venusian atmosphere, the heat shield did its job. The intense heat abated and communication with Earth was restored. The spacecraft deployed its parachute, slowing its descent through the thick clouds. Finally, after an excruciating 35-minute descent, Venera 7 touched down on the surface of Venus. It was the first time a human-made object had landed safely on another planet. A new chapter in space exploration had begun. Despite the extreme conditions, Venera 7 managed to transmit data back to Earth for 23 minutes after landing. The data confirmed what scientists had long suspected. Venus was a scorching hellhole. The surface temperature was a blistering 887 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure was 90 times that of Earth's, crushing and unforgiving. Venus was not the tropical paradise some had imagined. Venera 7's mission, though brief, was a resounding success. Launched by the Soviet Union in 1970, it was a pioneering effort in the realm of space exploration. The mission aimed to achieve what had never been done before, to land a spacecraft on another planet and send data back to Earth. It had overcome incredible odds, including the harsh conditions of space travel and the extreme environment of Venus itself. Venera 7 became the first human-made object to successfully land on another planet. The spacecraft touched down on Venus, a planet shrouded in mystery and extreme conditions, and managed to transmit data back to Earth, despite the intense heat and pressure on Venus's surface. This achievement marked a turning point in space exploration history. It was a scientific breakthrough that significantly advanced our understanding of Venus. The data sent back by Venera 7 provided invaluable insights. It revolutionized our view of Earth's sister planet, offering a glimpse into its atmospheric and surface conditions. It confirmed the harsh realities of Venus's surface, such as its scorching temperatures and crushing atmospheric pressure. This data shattered any hopes of finding life as we know it on Venus. However, it also ignited a new wave of scientific inquiry, sparking curiosity and further missions to explore Venus. The scientific community was driven to study Venus's mysteries more deeply, pushing us to understand how Venus, a planet so similar in size and composition to Earth, could become so different. This comparison has provided valuable lessons about planetary evolution and the potential future of our own planet. Inspired by Venera 7's success, Future missions have continued to probe Venus, each building on the legacy of this groundbreaking mission. Ongoing research and exploration efforts aim to unlock more secrets of Venus, contributing to our broader understanding of the solar system. Venera 7's legacy lives on, reminding us of the incredible achievements possible through human ingenuity and determination. Venera 7's legacy extends far beyond its brief mission, it paved the way for future missions to Venus, both Soviet and American. The lessons learned from Venera 7's design and engineering helped to shape future spacecraft, leading to more robust and capable probes. Today, Venus remains a target of intense scientific interest. New missions are being planned to study its atmosphere, map its surface in greater detail, and search for clues about its past. These missions will build upon the foundation laid by Venera 7, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of this enigmatic world. Venera 7 stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, we can achieve remarkable things. The mission's success, a triumph of engineering and determination, continues to inspire us to explore the cosmos. As we venture further into our solar system and beyond, we carry the legacy of Venera 7 with us, a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge knows no bounds.